In today's video, we're going to be talking about syphilis. Now, syphilis is a contagious bacterial infection which is transmitted through contact with a chancre on an infected person, usually during intimate sexual contact. It's usually caused by a type of bacterium called Treponema pallidum. The mode of transmission for syphilis is it's usually transmitted primarily by sexual contact or it can be transmitted via pregnancy from the mother to her fetus. Syphilis usually progresses through four stages. We have primary, secondary, latent and tertiary stages. The stages tend to get progressively worse if it's left untreated. Syphilis is highly contagious and potentially fatal and not all of those who are infected show visible signs of the disease in the beginning. So in the primary stage, we see a small painless like sore, which is called a shanka, and it appears at the site of the initial infection. Uh, the shanka usually appears uh, around three weeks after the initial infection. Uh, a rash could develop near this shanka as well. The shanka could go unnoticed. It depends on where the area of the shanka is, so it could be on the penis, the vagina, in the mouth, or on the anus. And it usually tends to resolve on its own within about four to six weeks. However, the shankas are still very contagious and bacteria is still multiplying in the body. The secondary stage, it begins a few weeks to a few months after this shanka heals. You start seeing rashes with raised patches. You can see these on the palms, the soles, but to be fair, it can be anywhere on the body. We start to see lesions in the mouth, the vagina, the penis. There's also fever, um, we can have swollen lymph glands, loss of appetite, fatigue, and aches and pains around the bones and joints. The shanka could still be present at this stage because even in the secondary stage, the shanka could still be present. But you have to bear in mind on the secondary stage, bacteria spread to the blood and syphilis is still quite contagious even at this stage. The latent stage is a stage after the secondary stage where there is a lack of symptoms. So there's no symptoms and this can last for months to years. However, syphilis is still uh, present in the body. The bacteria starts to damage the internal organs like the brain, the heart, the sexual organs. And the damage that occurs can go unnoticed until we reach the tertiary stage, which is the last stage here. This can occur many, many years later after infection. It can even be going on five to even... 40 years after the secondary stage symptoms disappear. We start to see severe uh, symptoms develop at this stage. So uh, we can see paralysis, uh, blindness, deterioration of the brain, uh, loss of coordination for the patient. And they'll, they'll always complain about shooting pains uh, generalized around the body. We see gummatous syphilis, which are these destructive lesions of the bone or on the skin. They look like this. Uh, we start to see cardiovascular syphilis, where we have severe damage to the heart and the blood vessels, which leads to inflammation of the aorta um, and general heart disease. Neurosyphilis also develops, which is where we have uh, nervous system disorders of the brain, eye, the spinal cord, uh, and just general paralysis, blindness, dementia, um, and in some cases, severe personality changes as well. Congenital syphilis, this is where the uh, syphilis is transmitted from the mother to the fetus. Um, in the secondary stage of the infection, th that's the stage where it could be transferred to the baby. So it's important for the mother to be treated for syphilis during pregnancy because if not, it could lead to deformations or even death of the baby. Now, if the baby is born, it should be tested for syphilis immediately. And now in terms of treatment in the early stages, usually it's a penicillin based antibiotic, which is given. Uh, for those who are allergic to penicillin, um, we can give doxycycline and tetracycline as alternative antibiotic choices. For the more late infections, for example, in cases of neurosyphilis, larger doses, even intravenous doses of penicillin are usually given uh, for a set number of days, usually around 7 to 10. Another way of delivery of this uh, antibiotic could also be through the intramuscular route.